is your book eligible for a free beta program on um, using AI generated voices through Amazon? So I was super excited when I received an email the other day that I have been accepted into the beta program. I'm not sure who all they're doing this for, um, but the email was very clear. It said, follow these directions. And I did what I, what they told me to do. First thing is to log into your a KDP account and I apologize I got so excited I started doing this and then was like I should film a tutorial so that other people see how this is working too um, even if you're not eligible yet for the program it's coming so a little bit of background I first heard about the uh, program at a conference that I was at last year and they were saying that Amazon is starting to do audiobooks with AI voices now as I'm going to show you through here, the challenge is that it is limited, right? But the excitement is that if you're an author that can't afford to have your book converted to audiobook because it can cost thousands of dollars, this is a great way to get started until you're seeing the results that you want um, with the book and can and can go through a professional audiobook. So, okay, first of all, when you log into your KDP account, you're going to see a button like this. I had it on mine, but I already clicked it. And if um, I didn't click on this to see why my book isn't eligible, maybe I should do that. It's probably because, okay, uh, I don't understand why either of those things. Oh, it's an ebook, an ebook. Okay, um, but if you're eligible, this is going to be highlighted and you can click it. So they may just be rolling this out for fiction books right now, one at a time, because as you notice. Um, the children's books say that it's not eligible. That one's on pre-order. Okay, so we've got the, the two books here. So I clicked on the button, like this one, that's now not highlighted because I've continued my setup. And you come in here and it's going to give you some different options. So they have, like I said, it's it's a very limited selection of voices. Now this is a challenge for me because if you notice, um, all the women's voices are ages 30 to 40. And my character is a 22 year old American girl living in Paris. So if you listen to some of these samples, his manner was not effusive. Nope. It's that does not sound like a woman anywhere near her 20s. <laughs> we don't want to use British because she's American. It seldom was. Although that's a lovely voice and probably the youngest sounding of all of them. Then, of course, you have the male versions, which we don't need. His manner was not effusive. It seldom was. But he was... Doesn't sound like a good fit. So I was starting to panic here. I was like, there's only one more voice left. His manner was not effusive. It seldom was. But he was glad... Again, she doesn't sound 24, but she doesn't sound... 80 either so you know that's probably going to be the closest now here's the deal here's the real catch you can only do single single um narration so if you've done a dual pov book you're out of luck for this program at this point in time because you can only choose one voice so while i'm not super thrilled with virtual voice seven his manner was not effusive it seldom was it's it's the best option out there. And I am really curious about trying this and I don't have the budget right now to have the audiobook professionally done. So rolling along, scrolling along, they will do your audiobook cover for you. And because the book is in KDP Select, which I do think that they're rolling out this program first to KD books that are in KDP Select. So if you have a fiction book that could be audio, um, narrated by a single voice, you might want to consider putting it in, in um, KDP Select just to be able to try this out. Um, so, ebook is currently enrolled in KDP Select, so they're also going to put it in here. Then you get to choose your audiobook price. I went based on, um, I buy a lot of audiobooks, so I know that they run anywhere between, if they're an upgrade, $6.99 all the way up to like $26.99. So, um, our options are $3.99 to $14.99 in here. Now, at the $3.99 range, you'd be getting zero. So, your royalty rate is 40%. I picked a rate that I was right in the middle that I feel good about the royalty rates there. They're going to do the ebook add on so people can get the ebook for $1.99 when they get it. So, again, then you'll have that. And it's also going on to Audible, so you'll get the 40% from Audible. Okay, now this hopefully will work this time. The last time I clicked this, it um, 
it froze. So hopefully this page is working now. If not, oh, yay. Okay. So now it'll allow you to come in and do some auditing. Uh, auditing. <laughs> audio, I guess auditing is audio editing. Uh, editing. So you can come in and you can um, listen to it. So let's see. Okay, how do you play? Play audio. Okay, you can't see this because it's on the bottom of my screen. Let me adjust the thing here. Way down here, if you can see that, it says play audio. Okay, so I'm going to move this over a little bit. Let's see. Take a minute here. One. I glared at the Eiffel Tower as if it was her fault. Although her soaring presence generally filled me with awe at the way she transformed from a World's Fair exhibit into a global symbol of love, today... As the frigid wind whipped my clothes and the dreary sky dampened my spirits, her enormous metal frame seemed to mock me. The enormous digital display mounted on the side of the tower, J1, glowed brightly, a visible countdown to the end of the century, the end of the millennium. Tick-tock, the tower seemed to whisper. Yes, I know, I responded quietly. One day left of 1999, Almost time to go home. Okay, I'm loving it so far. Um, her pronunciation seems good. I don't know what I would do there. Um, that's the default speed. We can make it a little, we can make it slower or faster. I'm going to see what it feels like faster because that's kind of slow, but I'd be okay with that. I don't want it to go too fast. A sudden gust of wind caught the ends of my short brown hair and I reached up to tuck it behind my ears before jamming my frozen hands back into the pockets of my black pea coat. Now what am I going to do? I chuckled and glanced around to ensure no one noticed. I was literally talking to the Eiffel. Okay, um, so I like that, that faster, actually, and I want to see what happens when we... Okay, so you can spell out how it should be said if there's something... Um, different in here. So I have some French words, so it might be worth it for me to go find some French words and make sure that they are pronounced correctly. Um, I guess the good news about a mostly uh, American audience is that if a French word is pronounced incorrectly, only the people who took French will know that. <laughs> but just kidding. I would take the time to go through and um and find if i can find any of the french words in here you can see it's quite challenging this part you have to know exactly where things are in your book so that you can um make sure that you can catch those so i'm not going to have you sit here and watch me do this whole thing hold on okay i found one cali Sava. okay he asked Okay, so I don't know where I stopped the recording in there, but I was able to go in here, edit pronunciation. I, pr I applied it. We're going to apply it to all instances, apply pronunciation, and let's listen. Cali, Sava? Yes. yes. Perfect. Yes. I perfect, perfect. Okay. Alrighty. So you can go on and, and do this throughout the book. You can edit the things. Um, let's check this one. Bon on a Cali. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Let's edit that. Hmm. How do I pronounce it? Bun. Bun. Yes. And this is going to be ah uh, nay. Let's see. Bun on a Cali. Hmm. Nope, that... Before my disappointment settled in. Hold on. And why is there a pause there? That sounds so weird. An an a. An a. It's hard doing pronunciation for another language, y'all. All right, let's see if this works. He grabbed me into a big hug, kissing each of my cheeks. Banane Cali. Yeah, that'll work. Before my disappointment settled in. Okay. All right. 
So there you go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty easy to, uh-oh, let's see. Did it do it up here? Happy New Year. Bon on Nope. We all yelled. <laughs> let's edit that one. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm having too much fun. I'm sorry that you have to sit here. I'm going to pause the recording. Okay. I realized after messing around for a little while that there is a search bar at the top. So you can actually look for words that you know you use, like I know for sure I have the pain au chocolat. So let's listen here and see. Begin our days with pain au chocolat. Woo! Yeah, coffee. see, we don't, we, we definitely don't want any pain au chocolat. So we're going to edit. <laughs> pain, pain. There we go. Um, you know what? I don't know. Uh, how o o you know what i think it's probably safe to well I, it's hard to say because you don't know where that's going to find it elsewhere so i'll just look for and then shock o lot I wish it would show me what the six instances were. That would be really useful. Um, but I'm just going to continue looking for it. Let's make sure we don't have any more pain. Pain in the chocolate. Begin our days with pan au chocolat and coffee. And end every day with wonderful food and red wine pan, and pan be deliriously chocolate. happy. Let me think. I it? stared off into the distance, wistful for that fairy tale ending. Okay. It doesn't like it when you try it. Let me, let me hear that again. Begin our days with pan au chocolat and coffee. And okay. End That's probably as close as I'm going to get it. So I'm just going to make sure that this doesn't show up anywhere else in the book. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so the search bar is actually really useful because it will show you all the results of those words and you can double check and make sure that it's what you're looking for. Okay, so got one more instance because there are just some things that you want to make sure are not messed up and that's one of them we do not need pain we need pawn uh, let's see here okay so this is really cool if you haven't if you have a name that you want to make sure is pronounced correctly or a, a French word or something like that it's really nice to be able to search through that and find that okay so I think I got all of the the words through editing here um, and so what's next next we've done that so I don't see a way to save Hold up. Let's see what's up at the top here. There's an undo, clear all. Am I missing something here? I don't see a save button. I um, think I'm going to play this and it's changed. Philippe the laughed. It's really true that Americans like everything bigger, don't you? I blushed. <laughs> Sometimes size truly matters like coffee cups, trucks, and I glanced quickly. Ooh, okay. Let's get, let's see what happens here. Um, I don't know why it didn't say yeah, Julian, that. But it's not always the most important thing. All right, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I'm going to add in the intro. Oh, actually, they should just read this. Let's see. I don't know if they're going to add a... Four days in Paris. 
by Lexi Haddock. One. I glared at the Eiffel Tower as if it... Okay, let's see. I'm going to put this on 25% faster. Maybe I have to start it at the very beginning. And let's play. Was her fault. Although her soaring presence generally filled me with awe at the way she transformed from a world's fair exhibit into huh. a global symbol of love, today, as the frigid okay. wind whipped my Okay, I think I understand. The... Okay, so that's going to be, it's going to do the default speed, but um, um, people can make it faster or slower. So that's just there for you to hear what it sounds like. Okay, it does have an auto save that I see up here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, <clears throat> You can change all your edits if you make a mistake. Undo edits, change the voice. I feel pretty good. I'm clicking return to audiobook setup. And back we go in here. So we've got the virtual book. And then, oh my, my, let's see. Um, this is a good question. What happens if I update my ebook? Um. Doesn't really seem to answer that, does it? I have a live table. I don't know why. I don't have a table of contents, but it's allowing me to do this, so I'm going to go with it. Okay, anyway, I'm excited to try this out. I think it's a great, I'm going to hit publish audiobook, and I will keep y'all up to date with this, what is happening. So I think this is pretty exciting. Um, so definitely check your email, check your account, see if you've got... Uh, this beta program for you because I think it's pretty dang cool for us to be able to uh, try this out and get some experience with audiobooks without having to make the, the massive investment and who knows maybe it will work maybe it won't work um, maybe people will hate that voice and say this is not at all the voice that I imagined with um, for Callie to have. It's not the voice I imagined, trust me, but it's better than the other options. So anyway, you know me, I love to experiment, try things out. So this is today's experiment and I will be sure to keep you up to date with what happens, but yay. All right. Have a great day.